trial was incredibly unique because the entire population was premenopausal women under the age of 59. So it's really just exploring younger women with metastatic hormone receptor positive breast cancer. It's the first of its kind uh, to evaluate a CDK4-6 inhibitor exclusively in these young women. Young women, you know, two-thirds of them will have hormone receptor positive metastatic breast cancer, so it's a big chunk of uh, patients who are affected by our results. This clinical trial demonstrated for the first time that addition of a CDK4-6 inhibitor to endocrine therapy prolongs how long a patient lives. So the median overall survival was not reached in the ribocyclib group. Uh, the median overall survival was around 40 months in the patients who uh, received placebo. Uh, a better way to look at it, I think, and to understand this and, and to present it even to patients is when you do the landmark analysis and look at 42 months, at 42 months, 46% of the patients in the placebo arm were still alive, but 70.2% in the ribo arm were still alive. That's a big difference. Um, we did meet our statistical significance, and that makes this the first trial to demonstrate survival benefit that's statistically significant with a CDK4-6 inhibitor. A lot of work is being done now to identify those patients who don't respond to CDK4-6 inhibitors. As of today, we have not identified a biomarker or a subset of patients who don't benefit from CDK4-6 inhibitors, but a lot of work is being done there. There's some suggestion that activation of another pathway called the PI3 kinase pathway may actually be implicated in the development of either de novo or acquired resistance to these therapies. So there are studies that are planned and ongoing of combining a PI3 kinase pathway inhibitor with CDK4-6 six inhibitors plus endocrine therapy. My only reticence to run to the more type of approach is that we're going to get more toxicity by adding these agents. So it's really incumbent upon us as researchers to design trials to help identify that subset of patients who truly need added therapy.